check this thing out. Hello and welcome to Sunset Seekers. We're so glad that you could join us for this video. If you're new to Sunset Seekers, we hope that you'll subscribe to our channel and check out some of our other videos. The focus of this channel is state park campgrounds. We love camping at state parks and we've documented some of our travels that we think that you will find interesting and informative. We have some recommendations that could be beneficial to you if you plan on visiting some of the state parks that are in our video library, so be sure to check those out. But we're breaking with the norm on this video to take you on an amazing RV tour. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever been around someone whose passion inspired you? Isn't it wonderful to be around people who have a vision for the future and actually put their plans into motion, follow their dreams, and inspire others? Well, I want to introduce you to Charlie and Jennifer, two very special people that match that description and have one of the most unique RV lifestyles that you'll ever see. They are a husband and wife team and full-time RVers that travel the country to bring the good news of Jesus Christ to children everywhere. Their message is one of faith, hope, grace, and forgiveness. It's a timeless message that's been transforming lives for a millennia. And it's a message that's just as relevant and needed today as it was 2,000 years ago. Now what's evident by even a cursory glance through Charlie and Jennifer's Facebook page is the hundreds of lives that have been touched by their on-mission lifestyle. I recently sat down with Charlie to find out what his vision is. What motivates him to do what he does? And in the process, I got a tour of one of the coolest RVs I've ever seen in my life. And I'm looking forward to showing it to you. Check it out. This is the only place you can put a full length mirror. Who needs a full length mirror? Oh. I just need one from about here up. Right? <laughs> Me? Oh. Jennifer wants a full length mirror. I know, trust me. One of the things I want to draw to your attention is the incredible craftsmanship of everything that you see in this coach. Charlie designed this RV down to the smallest detail with the skill of an architectural engineer. Right now we're in the front half of the semi-trailer that has been converted into Charlie and Jennifer's living quarters. Notice the cabinetry that is not like what you see in most RVs. This is what you would see in a well-constructed residence. The drawers are well equipped with soft closed drawer slides and all the space in the kitchen has been thoughtfully utilized to allow for maximum storage and organization. I didn't give you a good view of the refrigerator but it's much larger than what you typically see in an RV and it's almost at full residential size. Even the space under the sink reveals a well organized rail mounted slide system that increases storage capacity and makes life much easier for Charlie and Jennifer during their daily routine. They have a very nice stacked washer and dryer combination that fits perfectly into their space. Another thing that I didn't give you a full view of is the stove. You can see the four burners and the spice rack above, but if I had panned the camera down just a little bit, you would have seen the oven, which is not exactly residential size, but it's still about four times the size of what you would see in your typical RV. I like this. I like the ceiling height. It doesn't feel like you're in a trailer. No, it's open. It's airy, and I like the fact that you put Everybody looks at the outside. I don't think I can live in that. There's no windows. I'm like, I got 11 windows, people. <laughs> I, I mean, I like privacy. But it's not dark. There's a difference between. Moving into the living room, you'll find a cozy and comfortable space that's well appointed with an overstuffed L-shaped sofa that's great for entertaining. And don't miss the ceiling tiles, crown moldings, electric fireplace, light fixtures, and all the other things that make this such a wonderful place to kick your feet up at the end of a long day. Now the bathroom is absolutely amazing. Walking into this bathroom makes you forget that you're in an RV altogether. This shower, equipped with a raindrop shower head and water jets, is larger and much nicer than the shower that's in my house. You may have noticed the little door at the far end of the kitchen where we began our tour. 
That is actually a door that is designed to give emergency access to the Kidman Fellowship Hall, which I will show you a little later on in the video. The loft bedroom opens onto the living room and you can access it by a short staircase and it feels very open and roomy, which I found surprising. Okay, everybody, I would like to introduce you to Charlie Slaughter, better known as Kidman Charlie. And uh, Charlie, I, I have to tell you that I'm just amazed by your vision and, and just uh, your lifestyle and, and what you do for the, uh, for the gospel and for the kingdom of God. And, and I'd like for you to uh, just, if you would, just talk to our subscribers a little bit and tell them about your vision and, and what it is that you do. Okay, so well, the Lord gave me a vision to... Um change the way kids come to know him across our nation here in the United States. Um, we have, um, we basically have like three generations that are outside the church at this point. And so um, there's a lot of kids that don't know that there's a Jesus out there. So he's asked uh, me and my wife to um, devote our lives to go around the nation and find those kids and let them know about Jesus. And so what we really do is uh, we're missionaries to America for children. So we go from town to town to town, and we train up the church house on how to reach kids outside the walls of their church, not by having an event at their church, but to actually go to where the children live. Because a child has no way to get to a church house unless an adult is bringing them. So we just show people on how to go love and just have a relationship with people. And through that relationship, they'll come to know Jesus through them. This is totally amazing. You know, I, I have to tell you, this rig is a technological marvel from one end to the other. How, how did you learn how to do all this? Where did you learn how to do this? And where did you pick up these kinds of skills? Um, ever since I was a child, um, I've been interested in mechanics and electricity and everything. But it was really God preparing me for this time and this season. And so throughout my life, I've just... Um, just learned little things here and there and then when he asked me to do this it seemed it seemed almost impossible because you're building something that's so big and so massive and we didn't hire anybody to build any of it everything had to be done by my hands my wife cleaned up after me and every day we would just pray and ask the Lord to show us what what we're to do and how we're to do it and so and he might guide you through YouTube um, there's a great, a lot of great YouTube channels out there that will teach you how to do anything. And so we've welded this, we've wired it, we've painted it, we've everything in it, every screw, everything has been done by our hands. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Well, now, um, where do you get uh, all of your funding? Where, where do you get donations? Um, well, generally, the um, only thing we do is pray and we ask the Lord uh, to give us um, our daily bread. Um, we know that... Um, he is our provider, um, even though I, I'm the provider of our home, um, making sure that we have our, our needs met, um, but my provider is the Lord, so when we pray, we pray as a unit, and we just ask the Lord to show us what we're going to have for that day, and he uses people. God's used people from day one. Um, that's he, he made a creation, and he uses people. Anytime you see something happening, he's used somebody to do something else. And so he speaks to people all over the U.S. And uh, um, they get a heart to reach more kids and help us reach those kids. And they partake in the rewards in heaven. So just, just wonderful how God speaks to everybody. Praise God. Praise God. Well, let's say that some of our subscribers uh, are watching this video and they say, Hey, that is so cool. I would love to have... Kidman Charlie, either at my church or in my neighborhood, how would they get a hold of you? How would they go about doing that? Typically, most people will contact us through Facebook um, because that's like the most popular social media um, avenue. Um, so, if anybody does a search for Kidman Charlie, it's K I D M I N, one word, Kid Ministry. I will be posting a link to that okay. to the, in this video. So, Kidman Charlie, you do a search for Kidman Charlie. There's only one Kidman Charlie from here to Australia, and uh, you're staring at him. 
Awesome. And uh, what what is your uh, operating range like? I mean, you have a semi. I mean, so uh, does that mean that you can go over the entire continental U.S. or we go to everywhere on the U.S. except for Hawaii. So um, Hawaii. we will drive it through Canada and into Alaska. Um, we will even hit the um, as we're going through Canada. As long as it's on the way to Alaska, we'll help out through that area too. God hasn't called us to other countries. We get a lot of people asking us to come to other countries. Um, um, he's just given us a heart for the, the... There's a lot of lost kids in America. Right. And so there's just so much that has to be done here in America. We must take care of our own home before we can start taking care of another. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for sharing your vision with us and allowing us to snoop around in your home. It, it has been ama an amazing experience. And thank you so much. God bless. Sorry to cut you off there, Charlie. I was a little too quick on the trigger. Charlie and Jennifer were both very gracious and accommodating and took us on a tour of the rest of the Questmobile, which included the main reason that this rig was designed, and that was to provide a space by which they can minister to all the children that God brings into their path. The Fellowship Hall has an upper deck, amazing laser lights, big screen TVs, a booming sound system, and provides an atmosphere that kids and adults alike will look at in marvel. But most importantly, this is the space where Charlie and Jennifer accomplished their mission. This is where young minds are told about the love, power, glory, and grace of God, and many are introduced for the first time to Jesus. Got a new location for Kick Row Quest. Um, it is like out here in the middle of nowhere. And they said that they would all be out here waiting. So I'm going down this old country road with a 35 foot coach. And oh my gosh. Wow, it's like a revival. This is so awesome. Check it out. And there's kids. Oh, yeah. Kick request. Come on, Jesus. Let's bless some children. <laughs> Everybody say, what? what? All right. Doggy's like, hey, I want to go apart and be a part of the ministry. Let me on board. You want to go so you can get on board? I 
Pac-Man game. Who likes playing a video game and get to the next level and they have bigger barrels and bigger mushrooms and bigger bigger things they gotta tackle? Huh? Why do you like doing that? Because it's boring or because it's fun? Because it's fun! Is it is it because you get to do the same old thing or you get to learn something new? You get to learn something new! Well, think about this. There's a lot of people inside the church, and what they do is they go inside the church and they sit down, and they listen to the guy up front, and they're like, they okay. And then when they walk out of the church, you know what they do? <coughs> yep, I went to church today. All right, let's go live out life now. Right? <laughs> they're so bored with church, and they're so bored with Christianity, because they haven't leveled up. Who wants to stay at one level, or who wants to go all the way to the top? You know, once I was like way down here. I had no faith. I, I, I couldn't believe I couldn't believe God would do anything for me. Nothing. But God has changed that. I now have faith. Yes. Right, we're going to say Haley's grandma. Are you guys ready? Bow your heads. Everybody say Jesus. Jesus. We ask you. We ask you to touch. To touch. And heal, and heal Haley's grandma. Haley's grandma. We know. We know. If we ask you, if we ask you, it shall be given. It shall be given. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. It's as simply as that. Is that cool? Hey, and there you have it. That's a Kid Grow Quest Street Ministry, you know, complete service. I mean, I had removed a lot of stuff because our service is about an hour and a half to two hours sometimes. So it's like crazy. But kids love it. And that was a new location. We've never been to that location before. But they said that they would be out if we come. So they invited us to come out. So we were like, yeah, we're coming. So that was an extra 50, 51 miles out of our way. So but it just goes to show you. You know, the harvest is out there. We just got to get out and get it. So I encourage you all. Let's get out and get it. God bless. Well, that brings our video to a close. Now, if you are as inspired by Charlie and Jennifer as I am, and you'd like to see the Questmobile in your neck of the woods ministering to local children, make sure to visit the Kidman Charlie Facebook page. We've left a link in the description below. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Sunset Seekers. We pray blessings over all our dear viewers. And keep an eye out for our next video, which will be at Lake Worcester State Park in Oklahoma.